I think you're right. I, I think you're right. He it, said he, he's met you and he, he doesn't know you well, but he's met you. And yeah, I, I know the name. Yeah. I, Fraser, yeah. yeah. Hi, friends. We're, we're back at, at Dave and Linda's. And um, th this is, I didn't show you guys the top of uh, the project that we, th this is their place. I mean, look at it, friends. It, it really is it's freaking paradise here. It's, they're right on the salt chuck. Lady Smith is right there. Like, like, you know what I mean? The Shaw, the famous Shaw lives down there somewhere. That's actually Shamanus right there. The yeah, the famous Ian Shaw. We, he gave us this job, he couldn't get to it, so he gave Ganges the job, you see? Because Ganges works with him. And young Ganges is about to, it looks like he's got some kind of a, a, a camera on his hat. Yeah, Ooh. but we won't turn that on quite yet. Now what have you got, is that some kind of a new setup on your head? Oh, look at the <laughs> hair flowing, just a rolling that. So he, Dave, you, you let Ganges what you, he, he's talking about taking a few branches, son. Okay. So when he gets to it, Dave, yeah. just let him know. Friends, good morning. Uh, th these are tough ones. They're, they're, you're at the mercy. How's everybody doing, by the way? Everybody doing okay? Welcome to the newcomers. I see you is coming in. I appreciate it. Um, this is an interesting one because Ganges has done a few of these trees now where they've been retopped and he gets in them. And and you'll notice we we... we Take a look before and after, like look at it when we first started and then the finished product. We, I try to leave something at the top of the tree in those, in those jobs. You, you got, it's not just the spars, no good. You've got to somehow retard those big limbs that have been left in it. Cause if you just leave them long, they're going to either bust in snow or they're going to freaking bend up and curl up and turn into a horrible situation. So what we used to do, friends, is go way up. So right where you're going to top the tree, you keep climbing. You start stripping from where you're going to top the tree, right? That, that's what we would do. So say if we're going to top it right here, okay? We start stripping limbs for about 20 or 30 feet, and then we tie in. We don't top the tree yet. We tie in, we come down, and we dance around the whole crown of the tree, pruning limbs in half and making some shape to it. And then you get down out of the tree. After you're done, you go... Gosh darn, I'm pretty good. Five years later, you go, huh, I should have never done that. Don't top trees. <laughs> Just, tr I mean, <laughs> friends, enjoy the show. Um, we're happy to be collecting this little bit of stuff here for you now and again. Friends, let me know. I got all kinds of stuff on the go and I'm always doing something. So let me know. Uh, I'll do little videos where there's tree work going on that I'll throw the log splitter in or some accent or axe builder. Do you guys, is it okay to just mix that stuff in? Do you guys like those videos that kind of dance around and go to different things? Please let me know on that in the comments because I won't do it if there's a consensus that it's crazy. I'd rather just stay one track mind in it. Please let me know on that stuff, friends, because I'm always doing something. Always. What a newt. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably uh... take all that fuzz off, Sonny. That little short one where that thing is hanging from. This thing? Yeah, the one to the left of the, the bigger I already, one. I already took some branches off. Okay. Just whip it off. Yeah, the big one there. Yeah. So you want to leave this little one that you got yeah, this thing hanging on. So it's that one above it, son. It's actually the one you just threw your rope over. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Oh. Yeah. He wants oh. that cut off. So he, Ganges is, what, what happened, friends, is they had tree work done many years ago. Well, not that long ago, but they've got new tops in them. They're about 15, 20, 20 foot high here. There's probably four or five of them. You know what they do? They corkscrew, so they're all tied together. So Ganges is, he's probably just gonna go up there and manhandle that stuff apart. Probably probably the easiest. All right, there's the young fella. It's, you know, gosh, I've only done about 5,000 of these suckers. I'm glad it's him, not me. Actually, that's not that bad of a job, but it, it is, uh, he's got about one, two, three, four, five, six top seven maybe going up, one going out the back. Some hands on here. And, uh, you've got you know you're right here so it, it just you got to find a system you know find your little plan and stick to that plan and have a plan b if possible because you got to find a spot for foliage so you find that hole not when you get to the top of the tree you create it when you're on your way sometimes in a smart aesthetic fashion 
because I, I've, I've seen fellers just go up and, and right to the, to the problem spot, to the top, and start trying to ram them through the foliage and you end up with no creative uh, bearing over the finished product because you're just breaking branches and snapping. At least when you prune on the way up, you create something on the way up with space. And as you can see, the sun rises in the east, which is back there. Okay, friends. And now it's gonna come beautifully through. Nice shot. It's gonna come beautifully through here with all the work that he does. It really is gonna be nice. It's gonna come, yeah, he's right on the top of that tree now. You see, he's right there. So you're proud of this young fella. He's, he's, he's doing real good. He's doing real good. Yeah, you, you can't hurt anything, son. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a pick. His, they're all completely like just molded together. He's just gonna piece that sucker apart. It's really all the guy can do. You see, when he's in there, they're like a corkscrew. They just on one another. There's one going out the back, and then there's another one going out the back there too, plus the four up the dead center. You see? So, you just figure the, you can get the top out of there. Okay, so here's the kid. You can see he's picked the biggest stem on the tree, which is the smart thing to do. You can, he'll be able to cut, reach over and pull those tops out in half or whatever he's doing and throw them right down in here. He's got a bit of wind, but it ain't gonna hurt. They'll be so small, they'll hurt nothing. Yeah, I'm just gonna climb way high in this thing. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> see, he's, he's right in there, friends. You see, he's on this little stem and yeah, he can, there's a whole bunch of stuff like that. piece like that it's such light small material like he's in like he's in four inch freaking wood so you can just drop that boom right there right to the floor actually i saw that but that's perfect you're up high enough now it's looking good yeah, kid just yeah just start peeling apart just like you're doing i love it Interesting. It's got like a kind of a
I'm gonna send you a series of videos. So this is the grind I have set up on my on my saw right now. This is what I'm running right now. It's not an, it's not an aggressive grind. It's a durable grind. It's for something I can run in resi, and it'll last a little longer. I'll just show it to you here. Here it is. Here. Just a minute. No worry. There it is. Right there. See that? See that little teeny, teeny, teeny little side beak? Side beak means a beak on the side, which is over there. But, I mean, <laughs> okay, so this is the grind I'm running. Uh, I'm gonna fire it up. Oh, and that is the mouflair. That's what I'm running there. It's the little key to the bush. I, I want more of these. Good morning to you. Listen, I just want to talk about something real quickly here. You see a lot. You see guys digging their dogs in and reefing up on the on the handle bar to try and get the saw to cut. Um, that's that's fine. Um, but but just so you know, a saw and I'm not promoting one-handed saw use. That's not what I'm doing here. But I want you to understand that a saw, fresh off the a chain, let's say, fresh off the out of the box and on your bar and on your chain, when you pull on the trigger, it should start walking through the log. It doesn't need to be pushed. If you have to push on your power saw, something is wrong. You're dull. It's that simple. Or if you've just filed your saw and you're and uh, it's still doing that, your rakers are all shiny and too high. So, friends, I'm just going to show you what a saw should do when it's cutting good. This is lovely. It's got great pull. You can lean on it. That's a full house grind. It's, a, it's not an aggressive grind. It's a very durable, normal looking grind. Probably clear that stuff out of your way on the way, eh? Pardon? It looks good. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip these lens off. I'll go grab that last, last top leader thing. Probably just the same way as I've done this. Are you tied into the one behind you? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Could you not annihilate that stuff in the middle that you're in, or no? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this out of the way and then go get that far one. Oh, beautiful. See that one curling up right there? I do, yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna chop this down. Got it.
Anyway, he's got that main cluster out. That was messy. I mean, it, it was messy, friends. He's tied into about three inches of wood there. Uh, as you can see, he's... he's... <laughs> Sonny, what are you weighing in at now? Like a buck fifty. Buck fifty, yeah, so... <laughs> After I got my wisdom teeth out, I went down to 138. I lost like 15 pounds. Yeah, because you didn't eat nothing. Because all I was eating was tomato soup, and I yeah. wasn't really eating much. So he's he's darting it all down in here. It's coming out quite nice, actually. Hit a little. So you know, I mean, it, it's just one of those jobs, friends. It's just there's nothing fast about it. He's he's basically tied in. He's got the main cluster in the center out. Now he's got to stretch over and grab that one far out on the left there. You'll see it. So he'll just he's just gonna scoot over. He'll just cut that thing in half. So he's, he's got that one out the back. But now we're re-topping the tree, friends. So you see these big leaders growing out? Like if you don't do something with them, they're gonna curl up and turn into some great big school marms like the one behind him. So he's gonna cut that in half, create a hole for that one to come in here. Boom, that should hit the floor. There it is, right oh, Couldn't be more beautiful. So now, so here's the look from the deck so you see what he, what we're dealing with see that school marm he's standing on so the, I, I gotta be honest the last guys that topped it didn't really do that good of a job and I'm not just saying that I'm not hammering the guys up they didn't there's hinge wood all over the place there's no clean up cuts there's all, it's all stubby and just not good pruning so that's going to drop down right in that hole, that school marm, and we'll leave some foliage on that stem growing out the back to directional prune away from the home. And then he'll figure out his last, whether he tops it or kicks it out the back there, uh, the ocean side, whatever. Uh, you've got to leave something on the top of the freaking tree. So he's just going to, he's, he's, he's darn near at the end of it here now. But you can see why we left those two little stubs, right friends? Where, where his feet are and, and below because it's the top of the tree. So he will have to make a cleanup cut of some kind there. Heads up. Hello. Carry on. Oh, you're back there. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> so he's gonna dart this in the hole here. There's a hole. That cherry looks beautiful in there now. So the reason he took that one first is so now he can drop this in here. He's put a little undercut in it and let it come in here. You don't need to rig nothing. There's a beautiful little hole right in here. Here it comes. Boom. Perfect. I'll get it with the pole pipe. Pike pole. Very nice. Can you get that or should I go grab it? No, no, just get, worry about it on your way down. I'll be able to get it. Okay, cool. Now we want to be concerned with a nice layout for them after you get that last top and I'll, I'll help you out with that on the end here. That's, that's what you have to do in these, in these ones, friends. You, you got to find yourself a place tie in and just dance around in there and, and clean it up. Yeah, that's good. He's cutting that one right off, eh? I hope. Oh, he's gonna leave that for you. Is he? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> How's that looking? That's much better. That that's what I needed right I there. I had to grab those two. Yeah. And so now just those two little guys, and that'll leave the top for something to grow. 
Yeah, on his hard hat there, yeah. No, he just up in that last stem there now, friend. I mean, you can see what we're dealing with, right? You just, small pieces, small problems. Well done, kid. How many is that? Three finger, four fingers. Four fingers. <laughs> He's a tree guy. Look at that shot. Boom. Well done, kid. I'll, I'll make no comment on that. That's right. That. Yeah, he would. Young Ganges just finishing up his last piece here. Silly bugger. It looks like he did it, Dave. So, I uh, here it is. You know, I mean, it's, it's pretty good for what we had to work with. How do you feel about your work? Oh, all right, I don't really like topping trees, but when they've already been topped. And, well, you didn't top the well, tree. Exactly. You know, I wasn't the original culprit. So. You, you repaired it. Yeah, <laughs> tree repair. Oh, that's what it is. It's called tree yeah. repair, friends. Those limbs, they were way, way out there. They were the, the last fellas didn't didn't retard them. I call it retarding them or pruning, whatever you want to call it, crowning the tree. It, it, Hogan, you know, he snipped. But it's usually good to do this before you top the tree, so you've got stuff to tie into. So uh, this looks really good for for what it is. Good yeah, job. There's only so much you can do on a tree that's been yeah that's been topped like that before. But I think we made it look all right. No, you did. You did. That's why we left. Wild. It looks like a Friends, I hope you enjoyed that. Ganges is getting better. Um, friends, th they told us, they said, we don't want any growth. He kept saying, cut more, cut more. I mean, we can't just, you know. <laughs> but he, he, uh, they didn't want any growth coming to the deck anymore. So anything you leave, like sprouts, two, three, four, five, years, they're out hanging over the deck in short order. So the idea was, is to directional prune everything back and away. So uh, we had definitely accomplished that. And you see the stem and then all the foliage is out the back. So that was the program. It's a, I call it functional pruning. What are you going to do, friends? Be super duper kind. Over and out.